Rose from Omaha South. Could she help me put this up a little? Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'd like to give a trigger warning for this poem. It talks about like depression and like suicidal tendencies and stuff like that. So feel free to step out. And it's titled Insanity. <clears throat> The lump in my throat burns as I stare ahead at cascading depths of pixels. Blank whiteness stares back at me with strings of text littered on the digital page. Melancholic music blaring in my ears and aching fingers hovering over a keyboard. Poorly masked and poorly written woe that would make Edgar Allan roll his eyes. And as I sit stunned, staring at the umpteenth failure of a poem, I wonder, what is it I am doing? Will letting my depression spill out in the form of poetry that I always hate help anything? Although, even if it doesn't, the hopelessness will make for good poem fodder. What difference will the fragmented sentences I spew onto a new page make? Will the people I've lost reappear if I write of them, penning their memory onto my pages and onto the brains of all who read my work? Will the catharsis relieve me of my pains and aid me toward a peace I strive for? Will I find myself forgiving those who have wronged me and living as unbothered as I want to be? Can I forgive them? Or am I destined to suffer, telling myself my troubled mind is a small deal in a world of big deals and problems so much worse than mine, so who am I to complain? How much has even happened to me? Is it enough to elicit the wide eyes and sympathies that take me by surprise? How much can one person take? How much did I take until I realized the honey they were spoon feeding me was molasses? <sighs> To live or die, to lie bound with rope on the train tracks, nagging at fate to hurry up already, that is the question. The question heavier than all of the untouched trauma that lies on my shoulders. The question I ask after every slight inconvenience, after every slight mood swing, and every misunderstood remark, every unnecessary argument. I ask myself so many questions and wonder so much about the past and the future that I forget I'm still in the present. I convince myself of possible truths and possible lies and drive myself insane so much that I wish the world would deny me the air that fills my lungs, that I wish the Grim Reaper himself would reach into me and rip out my dramatic heart. But the demon on my shoulder reminds me that I am the problem. I am the ever-present beating heart under the floorboards. As my fingers type away at this fruitless Google Doc, I find myself asking once again, what is wrong with me? Thank you. <laughs> All right, give it up for that poem.